I invite you to turn in your Bibles to Paul's letter to the Galatians, Galatians chapter 5. I'll begin reading at verse 13 for the end of the chapter. If you're using a pew Bible, that can be found on page 1,157, 1,157. It was during the first sermon in this series on love where I gave um, context to the fruit of the Spirit. I'll just say for our purposes here that in the previous verses, Paul speaks of how um, in Christ and through faith in his name, we are free, free from the curse of the law. Uh, And he speaks to being justified, being declared right before God through faith, and that the works of the law avail nothing. They don't do anything for us in terms of salvation. We cannot earn our salvation through works of the law because those who desire to do the law must keep the whole law, and that is impossible for man. And so Christ came, the perfect righteous one, who fulfilled all the law, and upon himself on the cross he bore the curse of the law so that in him we have freedom And forgiveness. In the latter part of the letter of Galatians, and in fact in all of his epistles, Paul speaks of how to put your theology to practice, how to put your doctrine to practice in light of what you know to be true about yourself, in light of what you know of what Jesus Christ did to you, did for you in shedding his blood on the cross, justifying you by his grace. This is then how you shall live, and this is what the Spirit of God is now doing in your life. He he has entered your heart.